What's going on boys and girls? I'm getting ready to do a casserole dish. I hadn't done one. A um, rutabaga and turnip casserole. Very tasty dish. Good for people on low carb diets and it's just a good treat. Alrighty, these will be the ingredients we're using. Of course we got a rutabaga, we got us two turnips, we got us three-fourths of a large onion, we got some house seasoning salt, some ground mustard, some Italian seasoning, some oregano, parsley flakes, dill weed, we got some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and we got some chicken broth. Okay, we're going to start by just bringing about, about half of this um, quart of uh, chicken broth and this is you can use um, regular chicken broth this is actually unsalted but I'll probably end up adding some salt to it we're gonna just I said about half a quart but we're gonna pour all of it in there we're gonna bring this up to a boil okay we're gonna start off by peeling our rutabaga and you want to peel it so you don't see any of that green see that green up there you don't want to see that so we're gonna peel that until we don't see any of the green. Alrighty, see there, there's no green up there. And the reason why you don't want green up there because that makes it kind of bitter. Rutabaga with the green on it is bitter. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the turnips. Turnips are a lot easier. Everything is pretty superficial on the turnips. See how everything's coming off? Make sure you don't have any of the peel left up there. Alright, now if you've ever never handled a rutabaga, it is a tough vegetable. So I use a cleaver to split this thing in half. I mean, it is really hard. That's not quite half, but it's half enough. Whereas with the um, turnip, turnip's are easy, see? It just, it's real easy. Do it in half. Now, so this is one of these little gadgets you got to get right here. This is called a mandolin. It'll do small slices. You can do the one, you can do two if you want it um, a little bit bigger, medium, and three if you want it to be kind of big. We're going to try to do it at about two or so. Be careful with this plate right here. It will cut the devil out of you. All right, it comes with a little little device but for this right here we're just going to start off like this and again it's cutting them the end slices when you start getting down toward the end that's when you got to be careful because you don't want to cut your darn finger we're going to do all of it this way And we're going to do the same thing with the onion. Again, be careful. The onion is really soft. When you start getting down to the bottom, you use this little slice. There we go. See how all that stuff looks? It looks really good. And we're going to do this onion here. Again, it's a neat little device. All of it doesn't have to be perfect. You end up getting this right here. Now, at this point, we could put it all in the um, put it all in the oven and put it in a casserole dish. But to speed it up, we're going to boil it for about 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 20 minutes or so, um, and then we're going to put it in the casserole dish and mix all the ingredients in with it. Alrighty, our water is boiling in there. Add everything, and again, this already got some. Got the chicken broth in there. I'm just gonna add everything in there. Let it come back up to a boil. We're gonna season this once this um once it's cooked a little bit. Put our lid back on. And we'll come back. Okay. 
Alrighty. So it's been cooking for about 30 minutes. And we're gonna pour it into the colander. This is why you don't put seasoning on it. Okay. Okay. Let that drain. Oops, it's on my finger. All righty, we're gonna take this. Whoa! And drop the camera on the floor. <laughs> that almost was a disaster. <laughs> hey, we're gonna keep that. Shows you the bloopers. Let's get this back in place. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna take this, put it in our casserole dish. It's nice and hot. Everything is kind of mixed around, tender. Okay, and we're gonna take some of our Season salt. This right here is uh, salt and pepper and onion and garlic powder. Put it up there generously. We'll take some mustard. Put that up there. Just a just a few shakes. A little bit of dill weed. Again, just a few shakes. I'm not giving you exact portions. Um, some parsley. A few shakes. Italian seasoning here, a few shakes, so you get the drift. It's nothing special, it's just seasonings that I like. And a little bit of oregano. And just a few shakes here. Now we want to mix it. I forgot to tell you a little while ago, we, we need to add a little bit of butter to it as well, so you can't have a casserole without some butter. And we're going to add a little bit of um, cream cheese as well, too. All right, we put our butter in there. Now we're going to put about, about half a cup. And actually, I'm just going to put all of this Parmesan. This is about three-fourths of a cup. And I'm going to do about half a cup of the mozzarella. And I'm just eyeballing it, guys. So that was probably three-fourths of a cup as well. I eyeball a lot of stuff. So if you're used to following a recipe, you're probably not going to get it with me a lot of times. We're going to mix all this together. And we're going to throw it in the oven. you got to realize now, it's already cooked. We're just going to get the butter and the um, cheese infused with it. And the seasonings are going to make it taste good. And again, this is a little bit something different. Something easy, but something different. And then we're going to stick this in a 400 degree oven for about, uh, about 10, 15 minutes. And then it'll be all done. Here is our finished product. Looks really, really good. You can put some cheese on top of it. You want it to taste just absolutely scrumptious. Again, you can see the cheese all melted up inside of it, and we're just gonna cover this and um, gonna enjoy it. That is a uh, Lord, I was about to say cauliflower. That is a rutabaga and turnip and onion casserole.